I don't need doctrine. We just need love. We just got to love people. We just love them into the kingdom, right? Have you heard that? And I've heard that, and I think, well, that sounds good. That sounds good. Just love them into the kingdom, man. Don't worry about all this stuff. That's cold, dead religion, all that doctrine and fundamental stuff, you know. Just love them into the kingdom, really. Define love. What do you mean when you say love? I like to ask questions like that. Because it makes you think, right? What do you mean by love? Do you mean just agreeing with everybody? Saying, oh, you know, just you're just a nice person. I'm not going to say anything to offend you. And Yeah, that's being nice or that's being courteous. But is that love? Let me put it this way. If you were in a car... Okay, and I think I might use this illustration last week, but I'll use it again. But if you were in a car and you're with a friend and the car was rolling towards the cliff and the brakes gave out, would you be telling them oh, like this? Well, you know, um, uh, I think we should get out of the car because it's uh, going to go over a cliff. You'll be taking your time. And I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to really offend you or anything, but I really think it's, I think it's time for us to, to leave the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or would you be like, oh, we're going to run off the cliff. Get out, get out. Right? You would yell up, scream, push them out the air side, take them with you, whatever it would be, right? But we're so afraid to offend people, offend people, right? That, you know, we don't, do we really care? Do we really love them? If we're going to deny them the truth? We care more about how we feel, right? We're going to do whatever it takes to get them to the kingdom of God, right? You're like, well, if you want to go to hell, you know, okay, you know, but um, no, I want you to be with me in heaven. And so I'm going to tell you about Jesus Christ, amen? I'm going to say that he died on the cross for you because he loves you and he wants you to be with him for all eternity. And if they choose to reject it, that's one thing. If they want to stay in the car running towards the cliff, that's one thing. But not. But you're grabbing hold of them. I want to take you with me. Whew. Oh, you're going to reject, but you're, they're going to have to pull against that. They're going to have to push and pull against the Holy Spirit because you and the Holy Spirit are saying, come with us. And they're going, no. And you're going, well, come with us. And they might come. They might go. He's not going to... Um, uh, take away their free will. But too often we're like that in the car, brakes are given out, we're going towards the cliff, and we're like, oh, yeah, hey, you know, um, this isn't good. You know, that's that's what eternity is going to look like for you, but I'm just going to get out right here. We just, whew, just roll the car and we just let them go. Because, you know, we don't want to offend. 